we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching Stay blessed. Your name is your greatest resource. It is all that you have. It always stands in for you. It always stands in for you. When your name is destroyed while you are still alive, you could be useless. So jealously guard your name. And try to invest in your name. You saw what Jesus did. And the Bible says, Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every other name. Then we try to say that what does that mean practically? He is made in both Lord and Christ. Oh Lord, our Lord. How majestic is your name in all the earth. Not some part of the earth. In all the earth. Now, when I talk about great name, I mean good becoming very good. Now, when we are talking about the name of Jesus, you cannot say that is a good name. Like you can only say that is a great name. Because it is good becoming very good. So, I'll be using good name and great name interchangeably. Now, but I'm not talking about titles i'm not talking about people of position not about chief executives and yes presidents and chairpersons of organizations now when i say that a good name can purchase some favors for you i'm still not talking about people of high position. These could be accorded some protocols because of their position. But when a person occupies a high position, like a president of an organization, and the person does not have a good name, the support is finding it difficult. According him with that kind of respect. So be a wood na pen case ye to say be a oman penny. Na ni subai anana bra bonya. Ya ne ding mano se na se for no edi ubuoni ni di umpu ebe man. Now when I talk about that person not having a good name, I mean not being morally excellent. And me case sa ni pano e be ano ni di mpa. But ne me tres e biana ni subain ye. Dependable. The fellow is not genuine. No, you may have a position, but you may not be honorable. Such fellow, if the person is not responsible, people may not accord him the respect. Like him, man, to satisfy their ego, they can force their subordinates to bow to them. But they will be bowing their heads, but inside their heart they will be standing. They say, "Hey man, no, obey to me as she want. I want to say, say, want to no. Obey to me as to no, dear. Now so I come and mono. Now want to turn no. But the good name will purchase favors for you without any compulsion. Now so the power way obey to me at the adore a brewa unse obiya. Good name. A ding papa. Great name. A ding kasi. It's much more desirable than money. Than positions, than titles. When I mean a good name, purchasing favors. This is what I mean. Let's go to Job chapter twenty Job chapter twenty nine. Job chapter twenty nine. I read from verse seven through to fifteen. But me, please pay attention. Me kind if he in you mo and so no could do 
When I went to the gate of the city, I took my seat in the public square. This is Job speaking. Yes. And now listening to him. The young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old man rose to their feet. The young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old men rose to their feet. The chief men, now young men, old men, the chief men refrained from speaking and covered their mouth with their hands. Just by seeing his face. Good name. Purchasing favors without compulsion. The voices of the nobles were hushed and their tongues struck to the roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me and those who saw me commended me. Now I saw now he said because I rescued the poor who cried for help and the fatherless who had none to assist them. If he said me So the respect is not just coming to him. It is based on something. It is founded on who he is. Good man. Now listen to this big one. The one who was dying blessed me. I made the widow's heart sing. The one who was dying blessed me. I made the widow's heart sing. I put on righteousness as my clothing. <laughs> Justice was my robe and my turban. Now I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. So when the young men see him, they step aside. And the old men, old men, they will rise to their feet. The chiefs refrain from speaking and cover their mouth with their hands. The voices of the nobles in town will hush. And their tongue stuck to their roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me, and those who saw me commended me. Great man, a good man. Becoming very good. Ah, why yeah, papa? So I want to push you from just having a good name to having a great name. Mm -hmm. And that respect comes voluntarily. No, he doesn't just command it and want to demand it. So. I said last week that we are all born with gifts and talents. Now we all have opportunities. But only few are able to work on these graces and gifts to turn them into great and revered names. We therefore need to carefully and intentionally 
deliberately invest in our names as a unique entity on earth now look at job he says that whoever heard me commended me he should be a certain man so how do you invest in your name to make it great how do you have a good name let me say generally that if you want to have a good name or a great name you have to make some sacrifices. Like Jesus. You need to go the extra mile. You have to make yourself nothing. You have to draw straight lines of resistance. And you need to discipline your appetite. You have to say no to all all ungodliness by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now shall attempt to offer some suggestions as to how you can have a good name and then add whatever you know to it. Yeah, whatever you think will help, but I'll offer some few suggestions. Number one. Let love and faithfulness invest your actions. Ma odo any nukredie emye wadie nyina ma. Now, let love and faithfulness invest your, your action. Proverbs 3, verse 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then... You win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. You need to work very hard like Jesus. The Bible says he gained favor with God and with men. And if he is the one we are following, then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Then you also gain favor before God. And men. So ye ye ne chidi for dia. Any ensesse or do any papa ye a free yak green and yakuma na ya di muda ni benu nyanko pony ni penny madum. Galatians six seven to ten. Ye shre galati four manu eighteen sia if in yumun soon eko si dunu. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Mumma won na damo, no nyanko pon won sin at ye. If we said the Onipa Gono and Nuara Nucha. So you just cannot have a good name. You need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you. Verse 9 says this Let us not become weary in doing good. If you want to have a good name, so good. And then you will reap good. Verse 10. Let us not be weary in doing good. If you want to have a good name, so good. Let us not be weary in doing good. For at the proper time, you reap a harvest if you do not give up. The human being is very, very overbearing. But if you want to be a good man, you have to sow good. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Find opportunities and do good. And then that good that you have sown, you will reap it and it will rub on your name. Number two, be humble. 
See, to be humble is to consider others better than yourself. See, humility is quite a scarce virtue on earth. See, so when people see that you are exhibiting humility, they respect you. Because the lowest common denominator among humans, I always say, is pride. See, if you see people walking sanctimoniously with their hands behind them, it doesn't mean they are humble. You, you insult them and see. So, who say Nipa Nam no one go away? Chisa abofwa. My man in your say what Brown wants you. What the Tiaba kuna in Sonashe? If you like, even give him some position. What the Bomadi and Pedi Brebi, Fanisha Ho, Ubi Hu. Say, I'm here, man. You Mordecai. <laughs> you don't want to bow. All of you will die. You see a monster coming out of human being when you give him position. Some I'm not talking about walking and keeping your hands behind you. No, I'm not talking about trying to bow to the offering bowl when you are going to give an offering. Uh, James chapter 4 verse 6. But he gave some as apostles, but he gave small grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. We are saying that good name purchases favors. Now if God shows favor to the humble, human beings will show favor to you. Verse 10. James 4 verse 10. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. Now when God lifts you up, Human beings will respect you. They will bow to you. They will bow to you. But humility, uh, none of us is born humble. We learn humility. And you need to invest a lot into your spirit to be able to have the humility replaces the pride. Now humility is beautiful. And people admire that. And when they see that, they will respect you. Be God fearing. Be God fearing. Job 1 verse 1. In the land of Uz, then lived the man whose name was Job. This man, you see, this man means he was a human being. This man, this man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. Then verse 8 says this. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Now when you are like this, what happens is that God is always close to you. And then there's a kind of glorious aura that will glad your appearance. Look for it. Man that fears the Lord. Blameless, upright, he fears God and he shuns evil. Now, the King James who says he eschew evil. See, there are certain people who do not like fufu. And if you put fufu in any bowl, they will never eat from that bowl ever. So instead of 
Eschewing fufu, I want to encourage you to eschew evil. The people who are with children, you are not being fufu. Ten cent crowd, you better tumble. We hold ten cent. Now one person will do when you share. Men can say children fufu. No mum. The here is that we children born. As chapter ten, you read from verse one to three. Yeah, can you answer my phone number? You man, no. It do. If you need me, you can call me and say. Then we can also take Psalm twenty-five. 12 to 14. I've interacted with Psalm 25 in this teaching. And Acts chapter 10 is talking about Cornelius. Let's read Acts chapter 10, 1 to 3. Yeah, can can small phone you mano it do you may decano kusi nyansa. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. Now very may be what Caesarea needing at the Cornelius. He and all his family were devout and God fearing. He gave generosity to those in need and prayed to God regularly. Verse 3. Devout and God fearing. I also suggest number four, care for the poor yeah. and vulnerable. Care for the poor and vulnerable. As chapter 10, still in Cornelius' house, verse 4. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and gift to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now, Cornelius as chapter 9, verse 36. As 9:36. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. And so now, see any baby? I will yop a ni ding a di tabita in trust here and the dockers. Obey ye na na obey ye na inuma pa any mo bro hunu adi e a oye e no aye no emma. Now to the extent that when she died, I could see say a bro owe you know. People came around showing the gifts that they have received from dockers. Ni pa ba bichwa ni hunu shia ya wadi a chedi wadi a chewa ono echre. And these poor people said, no, you can't die. People who did you leave me for? Then the people are saying that no, Peter is around. Let's call Peter because this woman, this good woman, must live. And the can say, Ah, Petro, Always doing good and helping the poor. Papa and all boy in for. Now listen, you don't have to be a rich man to help the poor. She now help somebody who need help than yourself. Now or trying to help people. That's all. Don't think that you have to be a rich man like that man to be able to help the poor. You start doing the little that you can. Go to the poor and vulnerable and then give them something. Feed them. Help them. Uh, band their wounds, and the Lord will give you a great name. O modia se onche ma wunye sike muso ansa ne wabua ubi shishe niya for any more bro for a mobi abetu mi biano fabua wong ne urade ebe ma odim. Yeah, because religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this: to look after the orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself from being polluted. By the world. 
It's an saying, I'm a summer, and what's here? A wound if you are what a jar on your copon, any mono, and they say, O be a coffee, and you sign, and you a crown for, and the one I will walk and hear him. Now, God is concerned about the poor, when you're copon or drink a year for now, the weak and the vulnerable. One, why a mere animal brofon. Number five, I think, yeah, Tosunumuno. Be an encourager. You see, don't be spiteful and be talking down people. Now be an encourager. Not any particular time to lift people's spirit up. When you are like that, that people will say that you are a good man. Ask chapter 4 from verse 36. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Joseph, so his name is Joseph. Joseph. But the colleagues apostles called him Barnabas. And so in fair no Banaba. Because he's a, a person who encourages. He sold the field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. The field was his. And he brought the whole money to them for them to distribute to the poor. Now in chapter 9 of us, verse 26, the Bible reads, When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, that is Paul, when he got converted. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. All afraid of him. They were not believing that Saul is born again. Including Peter. Na oh. Na suma fonu nyuma eti enkron o kenka ifin yimu edius edwin ensi ya konwa na o kansafa Paul hu se odru Jerusalem no o pese o din hu kobo esu ya fonu na nso na wonyi na esro no ifri se na wonyi ni se o yosu eni. Now this new convert is shouldered away uh, he, because people think that he is still that old man. He is still the man who come and persecute us and kill us. And then, but the Bible says, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his way had seen the Lord and that the Lord had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Who told him this? He went so close to Paul, the one they feared. He encouraged him. I'm sure he saw his face and let's give him a try. Don't let us reject this man. And then he heard the story. And then he told the story about Saul. So the others could accept him. Man of encouragement. She's my for Paul. Bra, Oba, Ebekan, Suyan, Fono, Fofrono. Now, when to me, and you need to me, Nanso, Banaba, Efa, no call. As my for no, and Cheng, Na, Odano, Edi, Chere, Wong, Sedi, Ohun, Ewrade, Kwang, Numu, Na, Ene, Seni, O, Kasa, Chere, No, Ne, Sedi, O, De, Aku, Kudro, Kan, Yesu, Hon, Asem, Ewa, Damasco. And to when you know, Chere, Seni, Banaba, Osi, Ben, yeah. In chapter 11, in fact, he went to look for Saul in, in Tarsus from his own town and brought him. And look at the man that he has produced, Saul, so, a great man. But he needed an encouragement from Barnabas to reach his greatness. So what kind to us could do be a tiduba kuna or no abomodia kwashe? Small for Paul, and not never can one share on the same in cry, could see brash and ne, the Pacassia to me. Now, there was a time that there was a sharp dispute between Barnabas and Saul or Paul over John Mark because Saul would not go with John Mark. He says, This young man has disappointed me. But you see, people of encouragement will always go for the one who has disappointed. So they will give him the second chance. So you give him to me. And he took back with him. Now, 
wo che mu no mariko e ba na fa ni po she nkran se no wo mu abribia mu no asema ba wo ho no otwe won be won wo boa won so between these two people by their actions people will say barnabas is a good man it is how she ni pa benu ya de ya senia smart for paul or paul mariko nanso Banaba, efa no bae na ubeti miaka se banaba o yini papa pa. Now I'll take a couple from Psalm 34 from 12 to 14. Um, I'll take some suggestions for you from this particular uh, Psalm and these verses. Uh, Psalm 34 from 12 to 14. Bomo di anse me tase no me bi efi enyom edu asan nain efi yimu du mienu o ayokon. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days. Now keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So I will pick some lessons from here. Now if you want, if you want to be known as a good fellow keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies what does it mean to keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies let the good man job interpret this to us now job 27 from verse 1. Are we together? And Job continued his discourse. As surely as God lives, who had denied me justice, the Almighty, who has made my life bitter, as long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not say anything wicked or my tongue will not utter lies. Now, say, say when you uncoup one, where ye me bim crow, any or two foa, or shame a cra, I will warn or tear see ye. Now, my homie, you know, a dasso a woman moo, now when you uncoup one, who made dasso a woman who name me, and para, my no ring came, mumoyesem, now me touch him, ring can and not das. See how he was a great man. Oh, Nintia, no, you need Pakasia. He says, as long as God lives, as he said, Raditia, see, as long as I have breath. My lips will not say anything wicked. Now you don't speak evil about a friend, whether the person is present or absent. He says, My lips will never speak anything wicked. And, and my tongue will not utter lies. You see, people will hate you for what you have said, not what you put on. Plague to yourself. Yeah, let me also plague to myself. That as long as I live, my lips will not speak anything wicked or lies. Seek peace and pursue it. When you are a peacemaker and you are somebody who pursues peace, people will say you are a good man. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. They shall be called. Not God will call them. So people will call you, or people will call them children of God. And they are peacemakers. Turn from evil and do good. Galatians 1.22 Galatians 1.22 1, I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. Not Judea as of our work is to they only heard the report the man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy it. and they praise God 
because of me. Na tiyan kon ara ana wati se die anka kaneno o tayeno afe die na o kanji di akaneno na o seno ho ensempa na minti wa she o nyankopon eni o nyam turn from evil and do good bo modi atwe ho fi bone ho na ye papa and the people will praise god because of you na winti nipa no be she o nyankopon eni o nyam what a change life o be ka se ah dan fu ya bra bo asese what a good man ni papa pa be ni now be diligent and noble in character na me to aso a nya me kire ni se bo modi an se obeye nsie na ayi obi a Ubo wabra bo eye papa. Be diligent and noble in character. Bo modi yansi obe ye nsi. Ewa ni obe ye biya hon. Now. Na mo ni obi ya. Obu wani ni diye. Ekura ho. Wabra bo. Yeah. Carry yourself well. Modi yansi obe. Show hunsu ye. Now try to. Try to hold check. On your body. She. Wabra bo su ye. O ni pedu ya nukura. Be noble. Be gentle. Yo obi ya. Obre on wansi ya kume mu. Now, now udi unhuni speak well kasaye speak well kasaye don't sit anywhere men not stand bebiak. anywhere enye be bia ne se wujina in any council men nanti ejina e bia mu be diligent and noble in character for modia so be yo bia we yen si e woni obe ye bia mu na fe nso udi unhuni proverbs 31 verse 10 and 11 mumi enhwe mebusem no eti aduasa baako yemu du ani du baako no a wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Verse 11 says that her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Her husband is respected at the city gate, that is 23, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. The diligence and the nobility of this woman is robbing on the husband. Now, if they are praising the husband, they will put her in a palanquin. Carry yourself well. Carry yourself well. Now, carry yourself well. Be noble. And be gentle. I'll give you the last one on my, my cards. Put on the garment of righteousness and administer justice. Put on the Put on the garment of righteousness. Fratinisentuma and administer justice. Let the attention be. Job twenty nine fourteen. I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice was my robe and turban. Mi fratinia eframe. Now, I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice as my rope and turban. Let us make deliberate effort to put on righteousness. And try to administer justice. And you'll be a good man. Don't like bribery and corruption. Don't be somebody who is a deceit. Try and administer justice. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be fair in your judgment. And put on righteousness. I pray that these that I've shared with you will be able to help you. And then if you're able to walk in them, you have a good name. 
And then from good name, work very hard so that your name will be a great name. I've said we have not discussed titles. It's not about positions people hold in the society. Characters like what I've enumerated. Now, if you have them in greater measure, you will be a good man. You will have a good name. And it will buy you some favors. Reposition your name. As we reposition ourselves for maximum impact in our society. Now reposition your name as we reposition the church to make maximum impact in the nation. Now God bless you. Be blessed. I will not want to end this broadcast now without giving the opportunity to accept Jesus as Lord. Now, if you want to accept him as Lord and please repent of your sin and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, Today I repent of my sins. And I acknowledge Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I will serve him for the rest of my life. So help me God. If you have prayed this prayer, you are born again. Join us in worship. Or look for any Bible believing church and attend. So they will help you grow in the Lord. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep all of us. As we reposition our minds, we reposition our hearts, we reposition our hands, and we reposition our names. God bless you.